Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we have taken just a background of what is trade versus stock transfers or rather we understood what is an intercompany transactions and we have seen it from a generic point of view, how it is different from a typical trade transactions and how the intercompany accounting is different. In this video, we are going to take a scenario. What exactly are we going to see in the system? And we will also see the basic preparations in terms of master data that are required in order to proceed with the intercompany transactions. So before we go into the video, the same old story, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And if you are interested in contributing to our work, please do join our channel, become a super member or a premium member and you will get the perks respectively. And if you are looking for a one-time contribution, you can click on the super thanks button below the video and that will help us to cover our expenses to a certain extent. And to justify the premium members of the channel, I have decided to post the configuration videos exclusively for the premium members on the channel. Whereas all the transaction videos, all the master data related videos are available for everyone on this YouTube channel. So please do become a member. If you are willing to access the configuration videos, please become a premium member of the channel and you will get access to all the configurations that are required for the intercompany. In addition to this, the COPA videos are also available for the premium members of the channel. So let's jump into the video. So let's first take a scenario of intercompany. I have two company codes. First one is AC00 and it has a plant AC00. So this is company code and this is plant. And after that, we have one more company code AC20 and this has a plant AC20. And there is a material that is created, which is ACS underscore sports car. And this material, AC20 is requesting from AC00. So this is on the receiving side and this is on the sending side. And this is the material. And let us say the value of the material, which is the standard price of the material is 5 million INR. The currency is INR and this is our scenario. So if we go by the description that we have discussed in the last video on how the typical intercompany cycle happens. The first one is we create a purchase order at AC20 against AC00, which is the sending company code. So, rather before that, I should also say a few more things. The first step is we create a intercompany customer for AC20 and company code AC00 because this is the customer for AC00. So we create an intercompany customer with AC20 linked to it in the company code AC00. How we link it etc. We'll see it. And next one is create an intercompany vendor for AC00 in company code AC20, which is just a mirror of what we are doing in the first one. Here it is a customer, here it is a vendor. And after this is ready, then we need to extend the material ACS underscore sports car for both plants AC00 and AC20. And there are a few other setups in place which we will see. I am not mentioning it here. I am just mentioning it about the transactional data that we are supposed to do it, not the configurations. So then we will create a purchase order at AC20 in this receiving side for the material ACS sports car. Against this, so we will also mention what is the transaction code. So I will mention the transaction code here. It is ME21N. And this is business partner BP and BP, and this is MM01. And after that, the fifth one we have creation of or create a delivery document 
against the PO and company code AC00. Rather semantically, it is not sounding great to me. I will mention this as delivery document in company code AC00 against the PO created in AC20. So, see the tricky part here. The purchase order actually belongs to AC20, but the delivery is being created in AC00. That's the beauty of intercom. So, this is not created via VL01N, which is a typical transaction code for delivery document, but this is created in VL10D. And after that, we create a billing document against the delivery, and both of these are in company code AC00, which is the sending company code. This is the same transaction as normal VF01. And then seventh one, create a vendor invoice and company code AC20 against the PO. This can be either via Miro or via EDIs, which is a data interface, which is IDOX. So, this is typically what we are going to do in this cycle. So, first one, we'll start creating with this intercompany customers and intercompany vendors. I have already created this company code and plan. I have created this material in company code AC00, but we need to extend it to AC20. So, we'll also see how we extend an already existing material from one company code for one plant to another. So, let's start with the first thing. We will create a business partner. Let's go to the transaction code BP. I have created two different groups, one for domestic and one for intercompany. So I will go to this group ACIC, which is for the intercompany. And here I have given the number range as external so that we can clearly identify what is the company code or what is the plant for which we are creating this. So let us enter it. Now we are going to create a vendor in the receiving company code and the vendor is going to be AC00 because AC00 is from where AC20 is purchasing. So AC00 is going to be the vendor in AC20. So I'll create it as ACS AC00. ACS is the prefix that I have mentioned and AC00 mentions what is the customer or the company code or plan for which we are going to create this business part. And this is going to be vendor. So, first I will go with FLVN00 rule. Create. Here we have um, AC00 intercompany vendor. So, maintain the same here. I will do it as IC vendor. And let us maintain some basic details. language as English and then let us save it and we know we also need to create on the company code side so let us come back and create on the company code edit company code and where are we creating it we are creating on the receiving side which is AC20 so AC20 is the company code in which we are going to create this and the reconciliation account. Let us give some other basic details. These are not much of an importance. We will see what is very important for an intercompany point of view and save it. So now I have just created a regular vendor. I did not create anything special to tell that this is an intercompany vendor. So what we need to do in order to tell that this business partner or this vendor is an intercompany vendor. For that, we will go to the general data and we need to add one more role. We need to add the FLVN01, which is the purchase organization role. So, I will add this FLVN01 and we will go on to the purchasing side. This is also again quite normal. We are not going to do anything additional. So, what is the purchasing organization? It is AC20 because we are doing it on the receiving side. So, I will give it as INR and payment terms. I will give something. So, the INCO terms, location, 
let us see what else is important here we have any purchasing group and let us see if i have made any schema group for suppliers i did not fine and we'll mention the partner functions vn save it so till now also we did not do anything specific for an intercompany so now we are going to do that under general data under this flvn01 rule we are going to vendor general data and here we are going to enter the plant for which this vendor belongs to so we are creating this ac00 or acs ac00 in order to represent the plant ac00 which is belonging to the company code ac00 so for that i am going to create it as mention here as ac00 so this will tell that this business partner is in fact representing a plant within the same sap entity which tells the system that this could be potentially an intercompany vendor so this is the difference that we are going to do for a intercompany vendor so now let us create one more business partner now we are going to create an intercompany customer for the plant ac20 and this is going to be created in the company code ac00 because ac00 is selling to ac20 so say i'll take the same grouping here as well this is going to be acs ac20 and here now we are going to add flcu00 role so i'll mention this as ac20 intercompany customer and give some other basic details in and this is the region and this is the city and language i will go to company code and this is being created in ac00 company code it's a recon account so i'll go to the payment transactions not many other details save it edit and now we'll go back to adding another role which is flcu01 which is for the sales organization details now we'll go to sales and distribution create this under ac00 and this is my distribution channel so in this is sales org ac00 distribution channel is ad and this is ae i am giving some basic details like customer group i think i have created something you know fine sales group and one more important thing is we have a different pricing procedures for intercompany and for domestic or trade so in that case we need to differentiate based on some parameter on which pricing procedure to be picked up on the billing side i have maintained that using the customer pricing procedures so i will maintain this as ai which is for the intercompany and billing here let us see in co terms and i am giving some payment terms and maintain some partner functions automatically so before we save it we'll go back to general data and do the same thing here we'll go to customer general data and here we have plant again and we need to mention what is the plan that this business partner is representing which is ac20 save it so this is how we need to create intercompany customer and intercompany vendor so let's start about the material i'll go to the transaction mm01 and we will extend this material which is already created in ac00 to ac20 so the material is acs underscore sports car now there are two ways how i can extend this material from an existing plant i can just create it without giving any reference or copy from or i can give the copy from and tell to copy all the details from the existing plant 
the new plant that we are going to extend this to. I am going to use the second way which is easier. Here I will select all the organization levels and here I am going to give it as AC20 because this is the plant for which I want to create this and copy from AC00 for which this is already created. So it did not ask us to do any of these basic data because these are activated at a global level and it is already created so we cannot change it at this point. So in this one I am going to change the delivery plant as AC20 and here let us see if we need anything fine and our sales general plan I am going to change the profit center to AC20 and I will go to the accounting one. This 5 million is the price coming from AC00, I will change it to 6 million just to have some difference and if I click on this, my group currency and hard currency values will also be recalculated. So, we will go to accounting 2, perfect, costing 1, costing 2 and save it. So, we have done the second step where we are extending the material to both the plants between which we want to do the material transfer or intercompany stock transfer. So I hope you have found this video useful. If so, please do like it, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And as I have mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have explained the entire end-to-end -end setup of intercompany in S4 HANA in a series of videos and I will be posting these videos on every Saturday on this channel. And the configuration videos are exclusively available for the premium members of the channel. And please do subscribe to the channel. Please join the channel. Become a premium member if you want to get access to the configuration videos. However, all the transaction data videos and the master data creation videos are available for everyone on this channel. So I hope you really find these videos useful. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.